This was me trying to do like a sleek hairstyle today. Didn't really work because in the end, like I go like this. I'm like, girl, what's the volume? The texture. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. You wanted to be sleek today, remember? Anyway, that'll work. Hola muchachos, welcome here. You guys know about my minimalism series and just try and be a little bit more of a minimalist in my everyday life. And I've done a bunch of videos on minimalism and I can link my minimalism playlist down down below. If you guys want to check that out, I talk about things that I don't buy, things that I actually do buy, minimalist things in my house, and so on and so forth. So that is linked down below if you're curious about it. But for today's video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of things that I only own one of. I picked out these particular specific items because I feel like many people, not everyone, but many people own multiples of these items. I'm covering things from clothes to beauty to to appliances and a few things in between as well. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching. The subscribe button is down below. Please go ahead, fulfill its purpose and click on it. That is literally the purpose of a subscribe button is for you to go ahead and click on it. So go ahead and do that while you're here. Also give this video a like. I would highly appreciate that as well. And let's go ahead and get started. So we all have to say it. There's nothing wrong with owning multiples of items, specifically these ones, because this is what I'm talking about. But just for me, as of right now, I just own one of these things. And I will, as I go on, say, actually, I would like to have another one of these. That isn't a bad thing. And I don't think that makes someone less of a minimalist or just of a minimalist mindset. But they have to know that everything has to have a purpose and a benefit and something that you use often. I'm not with the whole Marie Kondo thing sparking joy. I don't keep scissors because they spark joy. I keep them because they're highly beneficial and I use them. There's nothing with sparking joy when it comes to that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's start off here. Sunglasses. I own one pair of sunglasses. These are some Ray-Bans that I've had for the past couple years. I used to always be a cheap sunglass person. That's just what I was and I was okay with it because I felt like I lost them a lot and I broke them a lot. And when it came down to it, I realized it's cause I didn't pay enough money for them. I didn't appreciate them because I got these at the thrift store or the dollar store, which is not bad, but I wanted something that I really liked the look of it. I wanted something that fit my face really well and I wanted something that was a little more luxurious uh, than usual and it would also encourage me to take care of them. These are beautiful. They're not in mint condition, but they're in very solid condition and I will use these until, until they're completely worn out. I don't feel the need to own multiple pairs of sunglasses. If I like a style so much, why would I buy more pairs just to lose them? <laughs> because the more you have of something, the more you're probably gonna lose it over time. So one pair does me good. Remember how I was speaking about scissors? I own one pair of scissors. Other than my sewing scissors, I have like a teeny tiny pair of sewing scissors that I use obviously when I am sewing and mending items, but these are the only pair of like multi-purpose scissors that we own. The only pair. These are more like craft. I'm gonna poke my eye out. Someone take these away from me. These are like craft scissors. I would like to keep these specifically for crafts and I do actually wanna go ahead and buy a very nice pair of kitchen scissors that will last us like our whole lives. But as of right now, we only own one pair of scissors and you know what, it actually works. It is, somehow it does, <laughs> somehow it actually works. We're gonna talk about a bra. I own one strapless bra. This is the La Vie en Rose bra. It is amazing. I won't tell you my size, but I'm definitely like a 32A. I'm like teeny tiny after I stop breastfeeding my children, but I have one strapless bra. In total, I have three bras, minus like some like cute little bralettes and stuff, but like three bras that I can wear out. But once you buy this, you'll get rid of all your other strapless bras because you just kind of feel bad for them. And you're like, you can't hang around this. Nah, -uh. It has like a full kind of sticky silicone rubber on this part. So you put it on, it doesn't move, and it has it same like right up here above your chest. It's amazing, okay? It is so good. I had to talk about this just to say I only own one strapless bra and also to say this is the best strapless bra 
but I do need to get two sizes smaller than this because over time I went from a puffer fish to a pancake. So if any of my friends, you know, need something, you can have this. It is just the best and I had to tell you that. Let's talk about my bag. This is my only diaper bag. Now, I do have a diaper backpack. You won't really see me wear it too often. I actually don't even like the look of a diaper backpack because it looks like I'm trying to steal stuff from every store I go into from like the sheer size of it. But I know some mamas and they have multiple diaper purses, but for me, I got one. This one is by Josefina Bags. They were nice enough to send this my way around the same time I had Elizabeth. It has my initials ST monogrammed in the front. It is big and a lot of pockets. I just own one. And you know what? Brown, I feel like it goes with everything. I like the look of this. It has a long strap as well. And I use this when I'm with my kids and when I'm not with my kids because it's just that great of a bag. I'm gonna try to link whatever I can down below for you guys for you to check it out. But this was going to lead me to another thing. I only, I only own one wallet but I feel like everyone does, so that's not that big of a deal. I own one credit card. And the reason why is I just don't need more than one. I've never needed more than one credit card. I'm not someone who puts a bunch of stuff onto my credit card and doesn't pay it off or anything. Like, money goes into savings as well for like mine and Kieran's debit, because we share that. We share a credit card and we share a debit account. This is just like safety for me. For me, having one credit card is safe. I'm not gonna go ahead and blow a bunch of money because I have a credit card. And I just feel like one does the trick. Anything else more than that, I feel like it's just personally for me, unnecessary. This is another thing. Me and Kieran only have one TV in our house. We actually just bought our first TV. It was like four months ago that we've ever owned. So we've been married for almost five years, but we've always just used, see this little guy? We've always used just my computer as a TV screen, like if we wanna watch something. But we did move, buy a new house, and actually had room to put a TV on top of the fireplace and mount it there. I really do like having a TV, and I, and I'm saying this, I vow this to you. I refuse and I will never have more than one TV in the house. I feel like when you start putting TVs in the kitchen, in closets, I've seen TVs in closets, okay? I've seen TVs in bathrooms and bedrooms is huge too, especially the master bedroom. I just don't need to be so entertained everywhere that I go and I don't need people to be distracted from other things by the TV. The TV is a family thing. That's when we all sit down together and we enjoy it. We do tech detoxes where we will go without TV for like a week, um, all of us, which is really great as well. If you didn't know, I have a husband and I have three little kiddos and I think it serves us really well, but less TV is good. A TV is nice. I just think too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Let's talk about my favorite things to wear. This is my only pair of boots. I own one pair of boots. I have so many like cool friends in my life and they have various types of boots and styles and colors. And for me, it's like, these fulfill everything I'll ever need for the rest of my life. These are Vivo Barefoot Fullman Woman's Shoes. It's a take on the kind of classic Chelsea boot, but there is no heel or anything that's kind of like uncomfortable. Vivo Barefoot also ensures that your foot, while you're wearing their shoes, is the healthiest your foot can be. Your toes are nicely spread, nothing is being squished, nothing is being ruined over time. Extreme comfortable I can wear these with jeans I can wear these with leggings with a skirt with a dress I can wear these naked for crying out loud and they look so good just kidding I've never worn these naked anyway they're my favorite I highly recommend them it does go like the the black shoe with the brown bag it makes sense to me I actually really like how it looks let's talk about skincare for a second I have gone through like a journey with my skincare with my skin in general and once I found out what worked I used it and everything else I was like, see y'all later. I own one cleanser, I own one moisturizer, I own one SPF, and then I own one like under eye balm. I just don't feel the need to have multiples in my skincare unless maybe it's some masks, but I just feel like 
when I know the products that I like, like the products that really work for me, I'm just gonna stick with them and I'm not gonna bounce from this one to this one and this one and try different things in my cupboard. I'm just gonna stick with what I know. So for my skincare, I am pretty minimal. I also just own one uh, Luna 3 by Foreo. That's another way that I am a little bit more minimal because it does a lot of things to my skin. But yeah, I don't own multiple cleansers, moisturizers. I just one, 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 one and done. Let's go back to fashion for a little bit. I own one cardigan. I dude to my dude, bro. I remember the days I owned many cardigans because especially like going to church and you're wearing dresses, it was hard wearing like jackets, like as like a shorter girl. It was weird for me to wear like a dress with a big jacket. Like I just looked weird. I still maybe look weird, but maybe I just don't care as much anymore. But I owned so many cardigans and now I just own one. I thrifted this, but it is by Aritzia originally with silk and cashmere. I've had this for years. It's kind of like a kimono looking cardigan. It's loose, kind of waffle knit, big pockets, like no complaints, great color. It goes with everything. I really just find that I only need one cardigan and, and I'm pretty pleased with this one. It's the idea of getting a piece that works really well on a variety of things or with a variety of things and covering those bases just with one piece, one product, one item. I own one nail polish. This is Essie's Ladylike and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's not very often I ever paint my nails which is why I only own one nail polish. I do own a clear one, but just saying like a colored one, I just have one. This one is just like, it looks like it's good for fall, it's good for winter, it would be really pretty in like spring and summer with a tan. I just feel like it's a perfect color Color, a perfect shade it just is something you can't go wrong with I'm not someone who needs a lot of choices and options I find that one color I really enjoy and I stick with it until the bottles dry what about you do you even paint your net like here question of the video do you paint your nails if you do how many nail polishes do you own do you go out to get your nails done what do you do for you now I'm actually really curious and no shame no judgment. I own multiples of a lot of other things, but I get all the use out of them, but that's just the idea. There's nothing wrong with owning multiples of stuff. Just make sure to get their full use, you know? We're going back to shoes. I own one pair of sneakers. These aren't dirty. This is the color of them. It's like this dark greenish taupe gray. Well, maybe they're a little dirty, but like you shouldn't be able to tell that much. <laughs> these again are by Vivo Barefoot and I'll link these down below. It's just like their Primus, I think, sneaker. They're leather. They're like a really low cut. Again, it's so healthy for your foot because you don't have extra pads extra heels there's nothing that's kind of suffocating your foot it's letting it be very open if you don't think you can run buy yourself some vivo barefoots and then start running like Nike shoes no Adidas no like all those shoes suck all their toe boxes are like this like how in the world are you supposed to run like that you need your toes open breathing I would love to do like a shoe collection for you guys to kind of see some of like my wide shoes and just how beneficial they are but no honest I just need one pair of sneakers I don't want a black pair because I just don't like having multiple pairs of black shoes because I have black boots and I also have a black pair of flats I don't want a white pair because they're gonna get dirty I don't want a colorful pair because I'll only like them for like a week this just works with everything these are such sweet cool looking fresh sneakers I wear these all the time also just back to appliances I own one blender I don't feel the need to own a mini blender a processor a neutral I just feel like one blender does it for me I am spoiled nonetheless I have a Vitamix which I mean really does everything for you it makes soups cream sauces it makes nut butters it makes jams it's awesome but I just have one blender and I keep my appliances very very minimal I don't have a crap load of appliances like sitting around tucked into places that I don't use like I use everything that I have religiously <laughs> I'm religious about it I own one lipstick this is Kava by Bite Beauty Bite Beauty lipsticks like mm, they smell so good this is like a purpley mauve gray nude and I know you're like what the heck oh my goodness this is like, whoa. I used to be a beauty guru on YouTube. Like, oh, this is bringing back memories. Oh, this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Weird stuff over here. This is what it looks like. I'm not wearing, I'm not actually wearing anything on my lips right now. I would like to get a more brown color. This is like a purpley mauve. I would like to get like a brown peach 
color. I can kind of mix them together. I can wear them separately. I would like another shade of lipstick for sure. But this one is beautiful. Like, it's real nice. But it makes more sense in the fall and winter time versus like the spring and summer. But this makes me feel kind of edgy, but like so glamorous. Like, mm, I love this one. Headphones. I own one pair of headphones. I'll go get them. These are the Crusher Wireless, I think maybe. These are by Skull Candy. Not gonna lie, I bought them because this coloring is so awesome. <laughs> Also, my last pair of headphones I had for like four years and they stopped working. So I bought these ones. I, am I talking loud? I can't tell. Because these are like sound canceling. I bought these ones because I like the over the ear. I like the wireless. I don't need multiple pairs of headphones. I used to be that person that had multiple pairs of headphones. Now I'm like, no, I just need one. And these are so fresh. Like these, I just, ugh. I wish I could just be that person that walks around town with like headphones around their neck. Like I would look so cool like this, like this. I own one water bottle, a singular water bottle from Swell. I've had this for the past couple years. I bought it because I like this bluish, marbleish, some like pinky, peachy, orangey-ness in here too. I just don't need more than one water bottle. Like when I go out, I already have this filled up in my car waiting for me to drink it. And when it's empty, I go back in the house, fill it up, and I chuck it back in my car. When I'm in the house, I don't drink out of water bottles. I drink out of like glasses and cups. I wouldn't mind to get more of like a big tumbler with like a straw. Uh, I think that may be easier to drink out of when I'm driving the car because otherwise I'm like trying to watch what I'm doing when I'm like this. This, it keeps things cold forever. It keeps things hot for quite a long time. And I mean, Swell, Swell just feels bougie to me. And if I was gonna buy another water bottle, it'd be Swell. And like, girl doesn't want to pay for that. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Just a bunch of things that I thought I would share with you guys. I think it's interesting to know, like, honestly, I'm one of those people that are like, I don't know, I'm curious about, I'm, I'm that person that goes to someone's house and then I like go to their bathroom and I open their cupboards. Like I'm that person, everyone <laughs> everyone that knows me is like, oh, Sarah's looked through our cupboards. I'm that person that look, and I don't like go through, I just like look and I'm like, ooh. I think it's really interesting to know what people have and what people like. So I hope that you found this interesting and cool. If you're someone that looks in bathroom cabinets, let me know, <laughs> cause I would be really interested in that. Are th Is that a normal thing? I feel like that's a normal thing. Thank you for being here and for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.